from Paris. Last night we had the Intermix event and now, guess what? We are straight into Bridal Fashion Week. Unfortunately, we have missed two days, but today is full speed ahead. This one is getting on a plane. Leaving to go back to Alabama, which is really upsetting, but she made her flight, so she's leaving. <laughs> So she only time. gets to go to a couple of shows. Well, we get to learn about the upcoming styles for the spring. So we have a lot of rides that we're thinking about as we go through this process of all these different shows and all the different designers. So we'll definitely keep you posted. with shows, presentations. I saw Shelly Brown, who I interviewed for the blog, so I'll put a link in the description because you should definitely read that. She is an editor at The Knot, and she was explaining that. So right now we're seeing Bridal Fashion Week for Fall 19. So she was saying a lot of the brands actually are designing a year in advance. Some of them six months in advance but most of them a year. So that was interesting. I did not know that. And I, of course, am exhausted since we arrived from Paris yesterday or two days ago. And then we had the Intermix event last night. And then now today is jam packed. And it has been a day filled with traffic, trying to get, to, it's literally hour by hour. So trying to get to the next appointment, get the Uber, it takes forever to come. There's so much traffic and hopefully make it on time before the runway show starts. But thankfully, everything is going well so far. I am at the Atelier Pro Novus presentation. This is the same place that the theory presentation was, the last presentation of your Fashion Week. So that's always fun. And
it is day two of Bridal Fashion Week, at least for me, since we missed the first two days. And I am back in busy New York City. So, yesterday it was filled with lots of sexy brides. So, basically the naked dressing, which you would think would be for after <laughs> on the wedding night, but might as well show everyone out your body too, I guess. Lots of white dresses. I've never seen so many brides walking down, which was interesting. The aisle at the runway show, it was funny to see lots and lots of brides. And today, in honor of Denise's birthday today, I am wearing an RBDW black bag. This is the new Fall 18 collection. of how Fashion Week is different from Bridal Fashion Week. So one of them, well actually with both, thankfully there was lots of diversity in sizes and colors, which was great to see. Bridal Fashion Week is so small, so you see all the same people at the shows and presentations, which is fun. And I am obsessed with the back of the dress. Usually the front of the dress is not so exciting probably, but the back and the buttons and having a dramatic train, that is what I live for. I wanted to talk to you about some of the trends that I saw. So, one of them is sleeves, removable sleeves. So, you can have a different look throughout the day and night, which is really nice. So, you can start with the sleeve in one way, let's say a long sleeve for the wedding, and then for the pictures, you could change and have multiple looks for those, and then the party you can take it off and it will be sleeveless or strapless it gives you the option it's very versatile it is along the theme of customizing your wedding dress another trend was crepe so that fabrication was something that was prevalent throughout all the collections so another trend was short dresses there were lots of mini dresses and shorter dresses going down the runway or featured at these presentations. So that can be for a second wedding or for the after party. So they were giving you lots of different options, lots of feathers in Bridal Fashion Week 2019, fall 2019, that were both on the gowns, on the skirts, and lots of different places. So people were being creative with it and then pockets. A lot of people in the presentation, the sales people would say, oh, well this gown has pockets. So if the bride needs to put in her 
lipstick or a cell phone or whatever it is, but pockets were definitely a huge hit for fall. Of course, there was lots of lace and also statement skirts. Big voluminous skirts that you can sashay down the runway and really just kill it. Okay, so one thing that I thought was interesting since it was my first bridal fashion week was that there were bold colors. It wasn't just all white, it wasn't all ivory, and also pastels. So a lot of it, they would have a blush underlay or it was ombre. I mean, there were so many different options, but one of the interesting things was that like the ribbons would be a bright bold color or something in the corset and the top. There were lots of different ways that the bold colors snuck in, but they were definitely there. And then also jumpsuits. There were lots of jumpsuits that were featured and some of them were super scandalous and were basically like you were naked, just a little bit of lace and maybe it would have a slip underneath, but maybe not. Or just beautiful, not tulle, but lots of different fabrications of different jumpsuit options. They also had some power suits, they had some athleisure, some track suit bridal options. So to, to be a bride today means that you have millions of options. You can go multiple different ways and figure out what you want your dress and look to be. Thank you so much for tuning in to our Bridal Fashion Week Fall 2019 vlog on the South of Vines YouTube channel. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment, let us know what you think of the video, what you want to see from us in the future, and we'll see you next time.